All right, how are you guys doing? It's East Central, where we bring you the best of entertainment conversations from around the world and Africa. We're here to give you all the updates as it is. So let's move right into the conversations today. Now, the murder case of Carmen Forbes, AKA Tabelo Moshwan uh, Tibbs, has been postponed to the 14th of March for a formal bill application. Now, the five accused, uh, Lido Kun, uh, Mashwanzi, Linda Nambide, Eddie Mazia, uh, Mashotemba Gwebani, and uh, Ludukule Madimba um, remain incarcerated and will be transferred to Westville Prison. Now, the suspects face 10 count charges, uh, which include charges of murder, attempted murder, illegal possessions of firearms, and ammunition. Now, the state informed the court that it will be adding two counts of money laundering as well. You know how it is, we'll always be giving you updates on this one as it unfolds because this conversation is still very, very on. Now, moving on to other conversations, now the Grammy-nominated Nigerian singer Arya Starr celebrated for her mesmerizing performance and soul-staring vocals is set to dazzle audiences across North America as she joins forces with American R&B icon Chris Breezy, yes, for his highly anticipated 1111 tour. Uh, the tour is amply named after Chris Brown's recent album, and it promises to be spectacular showcase of musical excellence, uh, featuring not only the chart-topping hits of Chris Brown, but also fresh sounds and undeniable talent of Aria Star, Nigeria's own superstar, yes. Accompanied by special guest Mooney Long, the tour is shaping up uh, to be the unforgettable experience for fans of R&B and soul music alike. Kicking off in the vibrant city of Detroit on June 4th, the 1111 tour will mark the well-worn journey through 26 cities across the United States and Canada. From the bustling streets of Chicago to the iconic venue of New York and Toronto. Now, audiences can expect an electrifying fusion of rhythm and melody at every stop along the way. As the tour progresses, Arastar's unique blend of Afrobeat and contemporary R&B will captivate audiences, showcasing her versatility as a Nigerian, as an, as an artist, a Nigerian artist, and her ability to transcend musical boundaries. Now, with infectious energy and magnetic stage presence, Arista is posed to leave a lasting impression of her, on her fans throughout the tour. Now, in addition to sharing uh, the stage with Chris Brown, Arista also uh, has an opportunity to showcase her own chart-topping hits, including tracks from her acclaimed debut album. This collaboration marks a significant milestone in Arista's beginning journey and a career, solidifying her status as a rising star on the international music scene. Fans are eagerly anticipating the win. Uh, witness Arista's dynamic performances alongside Chris Brown's legendary dance moves. And wow, his powerhouse vocals as well. With pre-sale tickets, Tickets set to go on sales from March 6th and general tickets available from the 11th of March. Anticipation is reaching fever peach for what promises to be an, a musical event of the year. Take it to social media, Chris Brown recently unveiled the tour details generating widespread excitement and anticipation amongst fans worldwide. As the countdown to 11-11 tour begins, music enthusiasts eagerly await the opportunity to experience the magic of Arista and Chris Brown live on stage. United by their sheer love of music and electrifying energy of live performances. We cannot wait. Now, that's going to be a banger. Yes, we can't wait to see Arista and Chris Brown. Imagine Chris Brown and his bad moves, then Arista doing her thing. You know how it is. Well, let's move on to other Nigerian conversations now. Charlie Poppy and Odumodu Black, the collaborators uh, responsible for the hits uh, single Cast, have announced a collaborative North American tour. Yes, they want to do this together. Now, the artists have named the tour Nigeria's Most Wanted Tour and have announced their plans to tour for nine days in North America. Now, Charlie Poppy, known for his captivating stage presence and distinct style, recently took uh, the Afrobeat scene by storm. Initially, he became known for Elon Musk, but was soon propelled to Limelight after collaborating with Odumodu Black. Now, that's quite interesting. You know how it is. Now, together, 
they created cars uh, which chatted uh, multiple times and earned them turntable and YouTube plaques. Odumodu, on the other hand, is the second most streamed Nigerian rapper on Spotify with over 100 million streams. Uh, this Nigeria's most wanted tour promises to be an unforgettable experience for Afrobeat enthusiasts. Fans can expect a high energy performance packed with both artists' greatest hits, alongside with thrilling collaborations and electrifying stage presence. Ah, that is going to be loud. It is going to be loud because you're going to have uh, Odumodu Black and you're going to have Charlie Poppy. Eh? You know that dance move they do. <laughs> yeah. So, still talking about conversations on Sun Spotlight this week, we had a chat with sensational Nigerian artist, singer, songwriter, and professional performer. Mars. So let's watch this, and when we come back, the conversation continues. Enjoy. Guys, what up? My name is Mars. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter, recording, and performing artist. Yeah, so I've been doing music um, probably since I was like five or six, thereabouts, but professionally since 2015. Yeah. Being um, an artist or doing music, it has been, there, there have been a lot of um, ups and downs. Obviously, everybody has the point where you're like, am I sure this is what I should do? Or I should go and dust my certificate. But yeah, it has been, it has been beautiful because right from the get-go, I always knew that that's what I wanted to do. So I wasn't really confused about it. So it has been beautiful. There's, there's been a lot of things happening along the way that has been both good and bad, but all together for the best. <laughs> I am a graduate of the University of Lagos. Um, I studied um, physics, um, that is um, applied physics, physics and electronics. Yeah, I'm a graduate of physics and electronics from the University of Lagos. Shout out to the University of Test Choice. Yeah, my, my initial goal was, um, okay, I wanted to do um, engineering, but if you all know that story now, you know, somehow, somehow, it shall land for physics. So I did physics, yeah. And I don't, I don't do bad, yeah, but yeah. During my university days, I was actually more involved in the choir. So while that is not exactly my musical career, it's still music, you understand? So um, during my university days, I, at some point, I was also choir master in, in the school, in my choir. So yeah, um, it's kind of like expanded my knowledge of music theory itself, um, of um, working with choirs, um, of people's voice textures and um, tones, tonal quality and how it's actually, what it mattered concern, with regards to music. So the idea of that, expanding my knowledge in that aspect also kind of like helped me as an artist right now pursuing my career. So I didn't actively pursue it, but I studied some people who were actively pursuing it because I had a lot of people in that space, University of Lagos, so yeah, it did. Growing up um, and um, pursuing my passion I would say that I was a very stubborn boy because, yes, um, music wasn't the first choice that my parents would have um, suggested or accepted for me as a child or, or growing up as a career. So um, they wanted me to, of course, be the nine to fiver and all of that. But when I was really consistent with it, they didn't have any choice but to support. My family was kind of like a music family, yes, because my mother, her mother, my mother's mother, my mother's mother's mother, that whole lineage kind of, yeah, they were like um, choir mistresses and choir masters. So they all, they all always had that um, choir rehearsal thing going on. They were always going for choir practice. I knew they were always teaching other people music and all of that. So when they performing my song title, Super duper one there by Mars. Well, he said it. His mother's mother's mother, they were all musicians in their family. So why not? It's, it's like they just dropped him the mantle to say, hey, my son, go into the world and conquer. We're hoping to see more from Mars, and we're hoping that, yes, the kind of sound of music he brings out to, to town will definitely be the one that people would want to relate with as well. Well, you know how we do on the show. We wouldn't leave you without giving you what your celebrities are up to on social media. So let's check that out. And when we come back, we wrap things up.
I remember Umbati, a big bummy. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner with drink, gutty. Now they wanna snap pictures, I live flashy. Who gonna stop me, huh? It walk belutani. Impossible, every day is a celebration. This one for all my people that could have. Yes, 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 yes. Shout out to all our celebrities and all the kind of soft life they are living. We are seeing it. You guys are doing well. I believe you have been up to speed on what's going on in entertainment because that's what we do here on E Central. Make sure you tune in again, same time tomorrow, 4.30 WAT. And also tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend because this is the right place to be. My name is Adewa, aka The Voice of God, and see you tomorrow.